I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to Roll Out the Fallout by the Chalk Eaters, featuring Black Griffin and Benny Benek III. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician, which means I react exclusively to comedy music, because that's where my field of expertise is. What this means to you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over or laughing over the jokes and missing lines. This way I can give my analysis uh, on the, the comedy itself, how the song and lyrics work in tandem with the video. Sometimes that means explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes that means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're gonna get, whatever you're gonna get, Blah. But I think it's a good time either way. Uh, if you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into this video. This just recently came out, actually. Um, there's been a lot of stuff with Fallout lately. Um, the Fallout TV series hit Amazon. All episodes released at once so people could binge it. And uh, I did, and it's fantastic. Uh, and then uh, Fallout 4 finally got a next-gen upgrade, which had its own problems. Uh, not a lot of bug fixes with it and caused more bugs, but hey, uh, Bethesda gonna Bethesda. Um, and also, uh, because of that, a lot of reaction channels... TV and movie reaction channels are reacting to the series, so I've been watching that, which has now caused me to to uh, start playing Fallout 3 again. I literally just started Fallout 3 again last night. Uh, so I'm playing through Fallout 3 again. So Fallout, very fresh in my head, and then this Chalk Eaters song comes out, so figured, why not? So, let's dive into this one. Black Griffin uh, is on the Chalk Eaters songs all the time, usually plays... Professor Chalk or whatever that character's name is. I, I, I don't know the lore too much because I haven't seen every song they've done. But uh, regardless, let's dive in. Professor Chalk. What a time, what a season to be among the human race. Hang on a second here. I have captions on when they've already got captions. So let's take it back to the beginning and try that again, shall we? Yes, I think we shall. I don't know what that was. It's fine. What a time, what a season to be among the Alright, there's already so many jokes <laughs> just in the illustrations. First, uh, the tiny umbrella with the giant bomb is very wily coyote reminiscent. The hospital he was walking out of was the St. Keanu's. Sure. And I think the dude in the trench coat and hat here is the guy who comes to your house at the beginning of, I believe, Fallout 4 and tries to sell your family a vault to go to. Um, so there's there's a lot happening. Human race, we State University. Uh, the, too much, too much. And I literally go back five seconds and we're back at the beginning. I warned you I would be pausing a lot. This is just kind of what I do on here, man. Reaction and analysis. I'm reacting and analyzing. It's been a weird day. St. Keanu's Psychiatric Hospital. That's helpful. There's a Sonic the Hedgehog poster. Uh, it's just so, so much. What a season to be among the human race. We are conquering diseases, sending Teslas off to space. Uh, was it a Tesla? It was a Corvette, wasn't it? I didn't think it was a Tesla, but... It was a car in space, and that's weird enough. It's, it's a thing that actually happened. There's video of it. Anybody remember? It was a couple of years ago. Sure. We won't set the world on fire. No big iron on my hip. I've stayed in street for a while. Wonder what if something slipped. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've, I've been away from the news, I've stayed news-free for a while, I wonder if something slipped. Yeah, okay, that's why we're talking about uh, the Panini. Because I'm not... I, people call it the, the, the pandemic, I called it the Panini just because it was fun and made things easier to deal with. Um, some people called it the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. Um, and, uh, you know, talking about that with the, the diseases and all the masks in the in the video, and then the thing about the car in space, that was, those were a couple years ago. I've been out of the, not been watching the news lately, let's see what's happening. Hmm. It's been a lot happening. Uh... I don't know what we're in here for, but it might not be entirely <laughs> Fallout game related. <laughs> it might be, you know, because they are a video game music channel, but uh, eh, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. We have invented our own existential threats. Vault Boy is singing. That's great. I'm guessing that's uh, Benny Benek the Third. Sure. AI works just like intended. Soon we'll work for it instead. <sighs> I'm not even gonna get off into an AI rant. That's just uh, that don't we don't have time, folks. AI works just like intended. Soon we'll work for it instead. Oh, that those are the lyrics on the the <laughs> the crawl there. All right, let's take it back a little. Existential threats. AI works just like intended. Soon we'll work for it instead. Oh Once god. So the video of him uh, was made by AI and we kept like. It's like one of those weird generative things that they had for a while where like the like the dream state things where they would take an image and just like put all this stuff all over it. I don't. Uh, this is a great next line. We learn nothing from that COVID. Next time we'll all just die out. They're not wrong. And there's the thumb checking the size of the uh, the mushroom cloud. If you're too close, it won't matter if it's bigger or not. Oh, okay. Have been forgotten back to killing for some land back to juggling red buttons. It's okay with the UN. We turn down Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, we laugh that we may not weep at this type of thing. Uh, fingers on the red button, obviously, talking about nuclear launches, and it's okay with the UN because you know there's currently a genocide happening, uh, and, and you know. They're like, that's ah, not a genocide, it's war. It's very one-sided. That's a genocide. Uh, we turn tyrants into hero, cancel guiltless over thoughts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this is Homelander from The Boys, uh, based on a comic book. Um, Homelander, not a good guy, is supposedly a superhero, but in his actions, very much not. I haven't watched The Boys yet. I've read a little bit of the comic. Um... But yeah, no, he's not supposed to be a hero. Anybody who actually thinks, anybody outside of the TV universe who thinks he is a hero, you're wrong. He's not. He's clearly bad. Uh, so, yeah, so much, so much stuff. <laughs> One of the cards just says milk, because there's the whole thing with him drinking milk. He's, he just got added to Mortal Kombat 1 as a, as a character. That's neat. I haven't played that one yet, but... Another problematic hero, Omni-Man from Incredible, is in that. Yeah, that's that's fun. And then Peacemaker, who's started out problematic. His family is very problematic, but like throughout the TV series, we find out that he's he's actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, he can he can definitely be viewed as problematic. Just like a news show, although they have it set up like a talk show. Just like a news show. Here's all the terrible things that are going on uh, in the world. Um, and now, now on to sports. Sure. I should be dreading, but strangely I'm ready. My bottle cap fortune will rise and stop for real. <laughs> bottle caps. They're the newest crypto. Or the oldest crypto, if you go by when Fallout 1 was released. But when it takes place is 
the future and timelines are weird, man. Fall out, come on, take us all out. I can't <laughs> The uh, military heavy religious faction, Brotherhood of Steel. That's the one you want to sign up with. Hey Amen, your choice. Is he talking to an imaginary character? Yeah, it's kind of a thing. <laughs> I love the Nuka Cola bottle shaped like a rocket. That's something when they've done it for real. I haven't really recreated as the bottles. Um, love the kick line. Some great animation here. Alright, why is uh, Professor Chalk all caked up? Just wondering. Not necessary to have it there, but they did. They went for it. And good for them. Uh, vault 92. Uh, I don't know all the vaults. It's a lot of vaults. Keeping track of all the vaults and all the craziness within those vaults is a lot. So if anybody knows what Vault 92 is, if that's been revealed, leave it in the comments, please. Oh yeah, just become a ghoul. You can just live through throughout forever as long as you've got the right chems to keep yourself alive and from going feral. And of course, the, the classic line, war. War never changes. We turn into Terminators there. <laughs> it's great. Roll out the fallout. The curtain called out to raging for crawlers. Death claws. And just horrible creatures that either work in Fallout or Silent Hill. Roll the balls. Just roll out the... What was that last one? To raging for crawlers. To tear this world apart. Oh, just a, a red roach. Okay, and a ghoul and a rad roach, yeah. I, I'm guessing all of these are characters or, or creatures that you find in, in Fallout. I know I recognized Deathclaw, wasn't sure what the second one was. The weird thing with multiple arms and hands for feet and the tub many tongues. Not sure what that was. I've played the Fallout games. I haven't played all of them, and I haven't played all of them all the way through, so I'm missing some things, but yeah. There's just so much. Uh, I don't know who those other characters are. They may be from other Chalk Eaters things, um, and they, the one weird robot body thing looks familiar. I can't recognize, I don't really recognize it. The one with the long duster could be the courier from New Vegas. I'm not sure. I'm not recognizing it completely. Um, roll out the fallout. The front rows are sold out. That's to be at the front row for the fallout. It's a great line. It's kind of depressing when you think about the reality of it, um, but you know, the, being, at, being in the front row for the nuclear fallout, being in the front row for the, the war that's gonna happen, that's not great. Um, uh, but it's a good line in a song when trying to make light of an impending doom situation and just trying to be like, trying to stay cheerful, so here's a song, you know. I get it. Yeah, yeah. We live in an open world game. It is kind of the the most expansive game you can play. Weirdly. There's a whole Matrix theory somewhere in there that I'm not going to dive into. That was rigged from the start. Ooh. Ooh. We live in an open world game that was rigged from the start. That's deep, that's dark, and uh, man, okay. And again, uh, as it shows here, listen to the full version on all your streaming sources. So once again, they've only animated a section of the song and not the full song. That's fine. Um, uh, yeah, Benny Benack was Vault Boy. Lots of uh, instrumentation. Who did the animation? Stupendium is Theo. 
didn't even hear a Theo or or any other characters in this. Didn't definitely didn't hear Stupendium. So maybe they're on the full version and Pink Pinky as Nat. A uh, music video directed by Benedict. So Bravo. There's a Five Nights at Freddy's video going on in the background. Um, yeah, this was this was really good. And then we're doing a, a Patreon supporters thing. Bravo, bravo. That was a great video. Short but to the point. Good song. Very funny. Worked well with the visuals there. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. If you did enjoy it, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. If you, of course, want to check out this video without me yammering all over it, link is in the description box below. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, like these folks over here do, at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early. Like I said, I do comedy music too, and that's available for early over at Patreon, and all sorts of other good exclusives like that. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye. And their refrain was the sounds of chickens. Mark, mark.